of the Lone Star State of Texas flies proudly over the Cotton Bowl in Dallas today, and we have ABC Sports are proud, too, to be on hand for the annual battle between the football teams of the universities of Texas and Oklahoma here in the Cotton Bowl. This is the so-called neutral field. Each school gets exactly one half of the 72,000 precious tickets. And for the 24th consecutive year, this game is a complete sellout. We have a warm, sunny, and very windy day for the 64th renewal of this great rivalry in college football. I'm Bill Fleming, and we'd like to relive with you right now some of the memorable moments in this great tradition of college football that began between Texas and Oklahoma back in the year of 1900. In all, there have been 63 games played. Texas holds the upper hand in those games, winning 40. Oklahoma has 21 wins and two games have wound up in ties. Certainly nobody knows any more about this rivalry between these two teams than our colleague Bud Wilkinson. Bud, this is really something. Isn't it? I don't think there's any game quite like it. Uh, it's early in the year, but it's uh, at a time that both teams have been very well tested. If you win the game, you think you can go on and win your conference. You might be the national champions. and. Certainly, you feel that uh, you're going to be strong, high in the national ratings. The uh, pressure that builds up downtown, uh, the fan interest, the alive stadium, all of these things combined to make it a classic. Well, that is a bit of what has preceded this rivalry. In a moment, we'll take a look at this year's team. We first came to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ever-growing and ever-changing skyline of Dallas, Texas. Again, the city where a most intensive rivalry is renewed. A game between Texas and Oklahoma, a most colorful game set amid the animated atmosphere of the State Fair of Texas. It has its midway, it has its horse and cattle shows and exhibits of all kinds. And for the 24th straight year, the Cotton Bowl is sold out for the Longhorn Sooner game. The well, ladies and gentlemen, Texas is off a walloping victory over Navy. Oklahoma has had a week off. Let's meet the stars of our telecast this afternoon as we go down in the field. And here's our colleague, Bill Fleming. Bill? Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to bring you the lineups for today's game. First of all, the visitors from the University of Oklahoma. At tight end, number 82 from Thornton, Colorado, Steve Zabel. At tackle from Rush Springs, Oklahoma, number 74, Jack Porter. At guard from Fort Worth, Texas, number 61, Steve Tarleton. At center from Enid, Oklahoma, number 50, Ken Mendenhall. At guard from Galveston, Texas, number 60, Bill Elfstrom. At tackle from Tulsa, Oklahoma, number 73, Darrell Emmert. At split end from Oklahoma City, number 83, Joe Killingsworth. At quarterback from Abilene, Texas, number 11, Jack Meldrum. At wingback, number 35 from Clinton, Oklahoma, Roy Bell. At fullback from Jenks, Oklahoma, number 40, Mike Harper. And the tailback from Miami, Oklahoma, number 36, Steve Owens. And the head coach of the Sooners, Chuck Fairbanks. Good luck, Chuck. Thank you, Bill. And now for the Longhorns from the University of Texas. The tight end from Abilene, Texas, and E2, Tommy Woodard. Left tackle from Houston, number 50, Bobby Wunsch. Left guard, Wheat Ridge, Colorado, 64, Bobby Mitchell. At center from Edna, Texas, 52, Forrest Wiegand. Right guard from Sherman, Texas, 66, Mike Dean. Right tackle from Crane, Texas, 62, Bob McKay. Split in from Port Arthur, 88, Charles Spire. The quarterback from Longview, number 16, James Street. Left half from Hudson, Wisconsin, 35, Jim Bertelson. Right half from Belleville, Texas, number 24, Ted Coy. At fullback from Bridge City, Texas, number 30, Steve Wooster. And the head coach of the Longhorns, Darrell Royal. Good luck. Thank you. Those are the lineups. Now back to you, Chris. Three game activities have been concluded, and we'll be back for the opening kickoff here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. Before the beaten teams about to go, first in the center of the field on the 100 year symbol, tri captains for Texas. Street, Coy, and Hulsell for Oklahoma, Owens, Mendelhall, Zabel, and Files. The referee, McDuff Simpson. This will be the toss, deciding who will kick, who will receive. Now the other officials are being introduced. Jay Keck, Wayne Shaw, Mel Sheehan, and Barney Welch. Here's the toss. Who's going to call it? Who's going to call it? 
What'd you call? Hits. You call hits? Hits hits. You want to spin that in? You That's Oklahoma on the far side. Oklahoma has won the toss. Oklahoma will kick from right to left. They have a strong win, Bud Wilkinson, coming from right to left here at the Cotton Bowl in Texas. Both of these teams would rather have the football because they have such confidence in their offense, but the wind is strong enough that winning the toss, Oklahoma decided to go with the wind because it will make maybe a 15 to 20 yard difference in kicking. That's right, kicking uh, today will be a big factor. Great punting on the part of Oklahoma, Texas average. There you see the recent series results. Coach Darrell Royal off two straight wins, 67 and 68, and of course Oklahoma would like to bounce back, ranked number eight in the country. Texas is number two. Oklahoma has won two games, downing Wisconsin and Pittsburgh with a week off last week, while Texas defeated California, Texas Tech and Navy. Oklahoma averaging 42 points a game, Texas a little more than 40, so we expect a lot of scoring, a lot of action here this afternoon where it's very hot. Down on the field, it's 94 degrees, ladies and gentlemen. Humidity is 51%. Charlie Spire and Jim Bertelson, here you see them. 35 is Bertelson, that sophomore from Hudson, Wisconsin, a good fleet back, and so is number 88 as Bruce Durr uh, will do the kicking. Bonnie Johnson is in the vicinity of the ball also. The ball centered uh, in the middle of the field. This is the opening kickoff. And here we go. As soon as it's touched, that clock will start and the game will be underway. This is Bertelson. Now at the two-yard line, moving out to the 5, the 10, the 15. Coming across to the 20-yard line. And the white jerseys of the Sooners, trimmed in red. Led by the quarterback, Mildred, making the tackle. So now, it'll be the Longhorns, undefeated in three games. With the ball, first and 10, just inside their own 20-yard uh, line. They're going into a 15-mile-an-hour win. The quarterback will be 16, Jim Street, Coy 24, Worcester 30, Bertelson 35. From the 20, Texas with the ball. You get an idea of the type of hitting that we'll have here today. Bodies everywhere as Ted Coy picks up a couple of yards for the Longhorns. And as we mentioned in the pregame show, Chris, uh, Oklahoma's going to test them to see whether they want to throw the football. That time, Monty Johnson, the Sooner safety man, was up to the split end side, about four yards from the line of scrimmage as the ball was snapped. There's the offensive line of Texas now with a second and seven, the Longhorns at their own 23-yard line. Jimmy Street, the quarterback. Oh, a good loss thrown in there by number 43, Steve Aycock, a sophomore from Midland, Texas. Oklahoma, instead of being in their 4-4 on both snaps, has been in a 6-2. They were in a normal 6-2 on first down the last time they were overshifted. Texas ran the option back away from the original fake, but they were going into the overshifted side. If you look at the offensive backfield, Street has only thrown 17 times thus far this year. Now it's third down and 10 from the 20-yard line. Worcester, the fullback, number 30. Three, four. Oklahoma Sooner defenders led by Kevin Grady number 75 Acock number 43 and Monty Johnson number 25 and with the ball back at the 23 it is a fourth down and seven a punting situation Texas averaging 35.8 punting Scooter Manzingo kicking his 15th punt of the year a good rush put on it is not a good kick at the Texas 49 moving to the 45 is Stensred Number 17, Bruce Stensred. And I mentioned that the kicking game, very important, and into a stiff win, a kick going only 26 yards with a seven yard return, and now the Boomer Sooners have it at the Texas 41 and a half, bud. And the strategy of receiving the kickoff, apparently taking the wind rather than receiving, certainly has paid off thus far as Oklahoma has great field position on their first possession. Jack Mildren, the sophomore quarterback, number 11. Mildren handing off to the boy that's being touted for the Heisman Trophy. Won last year by O.J. Simpson. Hard-working Steve Owens from Miami, Oklahoma as he brings the ball to the 39. Two-yard gain, second and eight, Oklahoma. The ball is at the Texas 39. What desire by sophomore Roy Bell of Clinton, Oklahoma, number 35, just inside the 35, but in the Oklahoma backfield, they swing the two halfbacks 
Bell and Harper. Harper is usually to the tight end side to be running behind the blocking of Zabel and to block himself for Steve Owens at tailback. At the Texas 34, it's third down and three for Oklahoma. No score. First down. Tailback Steve Owens. Shows you why he's great. And once again, that blocking combination that I spoke of, Zabel and Harper, cleared the way for Owens, who also picked up a little on his own. First down in this game is going to be the big down. Both these teams like to run the ball. If you come in second and six, second and five, it's much, much better than second and ten. Zabel to the far side, number 82, killing for to the near side. From the 28, first down. And the Sooners grind it out with Bell carrying this time. The Sooner offense that has averaged 341 yards rushing in their first two games. 12th in total offense in the country. Number four in rushing offense. So you know that they are hot. And now the ball is, let's call it the 25, a gain of three. Second down and seven for Oklahoma in the white jerseys. Killingsworth to the far side. Mildred. And the beat back again, Steve Owens, who has carried as much as 46 times a game as Daryl Emmert, the right tackle, blocked beautifully. Chuck Fairbanks of Oklahoma believes that uh, Texas has got so much speed and mobility that trying to go wide against them, even though it looks like you may get the corner turn, they recover so rapidly. Therefore, the best thing to do is to run right straight at them as they're doing now. Last time they had third and three. Now they have third and two at the 20. And who would you call on for that yardage? Steve Owens. And Oklahoma now moves from the 41 of Texas after a short punt to the 16-yard line. First down. Let's watch it again. You can see the blocking here. Owens with both of the halfbacks leading him into the line. Hurdling, keeping his feet beautifully, and moving forward for the first down. No passing as yet. There's a pitch out to Roy Bell. And Bell gets a hole. A 197-pounder from Clinton, Oklahoma, is inside the 10 of Texas. A Texas defense being tested early now. As the ball is at the 9, after a 7-yard gain, it is second down and 3. Very good change of pace that time by sophomore quarterback Milgram. Jab step to the bottom of your screen and then back with the option. 72,000 plus watching as Milgram makes the on. There he goes, all alone. A beautiful call by sophomore Jack Mildren of Abilene, Texas. And a beautiful fake by Steve Owen. Yesterday, number 11 celebrated his 19th birthday. And Oklahoma has taken a six to nothing lead, driving 41 yards in eight plays with a nine yard run by the quarterback, Mildred. His fourth touchdown of the year, the point after by Durr. It's up and good. Put your eyes. The NCAA salutes two winning members, Texas of the Southwest Conference and Oklahoma the Big Eight. Texas will soon become only the seventh college to win 500 football games. Oklahoma holds the longest winning streak in college football, 47 straight, all under the direction of my colleague, Bud Wilkinson. And now, Texas at their own 16. First down. Jimmy Street, the quarterback, on a keeper. And as you see, he moved uh, near the 20-yard line. The way Oklahoma is playing their defense, uh, they're forced Texas along the line of scrimmage. Uh, Texas is apt to break the long gainer or the clean touchdown against this pattern, but it will be very difficult for them to march the ball consistently with short, steady gains. That's a symbol meaning hook em horn. Texas with the ball, second and six with their own 20. And the triple option. Jim Bertelson of Hudson, Wisconsin, sophomore, sensation. Didn't look too great that time as we see a Notre Dame score in the third quarter, 38 to nothing over Army. Yale uh, beating Brown, 27 to 13. It doesn't really make too much difference uh, who the back is, Chris, if there's no room to run. All right, third down and four. Texas with the ball. Bertelson to the far side. Intercepted, number 43, Steve Acock. And Oklahoma's defense, beautiful. There he is, number 43, Acock. Street was trying to hit Tommy Woodard on the play. 
And that's the fifth interception going into their third game for the Sooner defense. That was the first time that Texas has broken their wide formation. They had a double flanker to the top of the screen. The Sooners now have the ball at the 17 of Texas. Miami, Oklahoma, Steve Owen has carried the ball and, as you see, penetrated the Texas defense for seven yards, bringing up a second and three. Wow, a little bit of misdirection in the backfield. Uh, the jab step to the top of your screen and the counter back with Bell leading the blocking. Killingsworth has put into the far side. Roy Bell. Showing a lot of promise. Carrying the ball closer, and he bumps into Scott Henderson, number 61, of Dallas, Texas. That's a little of a surprise, 18-17. And Syracuse leading Maryland. As we get the measurement here to see if Oklahoma has picked up a first down. They needed three yards on the play. First and goal to go for Oklahoma. So there we have the sixth first down for the Sooners. There, there is Acock who intercepted the Jimmy Street pass. Looks pretty happy, doesn't it? Pretty good set of burns, too. All right. Good line defense by Texas. All right. First and goal at the six. And Steve Owens. What a block by Zabel that time. He turned out. Watch it again. The blocking form ahead. Number 73 turning back to make a straight block. That's Darrell Emmett. A short kick set up the first Oklahoma touchdown. Now an interception has been close again on a second and goal. This was Owens, number 36, trying to get in, but Scott Henderson was there. And that was one time that the Texas defense was right by going for Owens. So now it's third and goal, and as you see, the ball now is at the two, a loss of a yard. Oklahoma, three minutes, 39 seconds remaining. In the first quarter, Oklahoma leads seven to nothing. They have the ball, and Owens gets his eighth touchdown of the year. There was no daylight, Chris, so he had to go over the top. Thanks to the blocks of Steve Carlton and Jack Porter on the left side of that Oklahoma line. And it's 13 to nothing. Underdog Oklahoma. And now Durr of the Sooners will try the point after with Mickey Ripley holding the ball. Good. So in about seven minutes, the Boomer Sooners have scored again. Time out here at the Cotton Bowl. Dallas, Texas, the score. Oklahoma 14, Texas nothing. 331 remaining in the first quarter as second-ranked Texas will receive from Oklahoma. Texas trails 14 to nothing. Bertelson to the far side, 35-88 aspire. Bruce Durr's kick, fielded by Bertelson, 10, 15, 20, on the hole. And for the first time today, the Longhorns have field position. The other three times, they started at their own 20, the 17, and the 16, and at the 22, a pass was intercepted. As Glenn King makes the tackle at the 42, the Longhorns. Let's see it again here. You can see the beautiful blocking of the Texas linemen. The kick was deep. Durr gets a lot of height on it. It almost had daylight before King came over to make the stop. A 42-yard return of the kick is Jimmy Street. All signal. Nice fake. Going deep is Fire. Fire has to wait for it. He gets it at the Oklahoma 23. Joe Pierce covering him. You'll have to praise this boy, bud. What an effort. He's the boy that uh, very well can make the difference. Uh, he's got great speed. Let's watch it again here. Pierce covering him. A little outside break. And he made Pierce move to the outside and then blew it right down the middle. And with the safety man up, Spire was wide open. He had to wait a little. Pierce came back to make the tackle. A 35-yard play. Eric has replaced Spire at the 23 of Oklahoma. Ted Coy. Tries for yardage, but in on him fast. Number 84, Jim Files, the monster man. And again, Oklahoma 
has courage to keep those nine men up in there tight against the running. So it'll be a second down and ten. Oklahoma is in the lead, and this may surprise those of you that just joined us. 14 to nothing. 2.35 left in the first quarter. Texas with the ball at the Oklahoma 23 second down. And Bertelson again feels the strength of number 84, the monster man, Jim Files, 6'4", 226. At the 24, a loss of one, it's third down and 11 for the Longhorns. When you're running that option play and they make you delay, the street had to delay that time. The pursuit usually gets there. Texas and their burnt orange jerseys. Oklahoma white, red trim. Bertelson now to the far side. Third and 11. Street gets some pass blocking. Out there all alone. Touchdown, Spire. Texas has moved from its own 42 in four plays. Touchdown. He was wide open. Spire, again, let's watch it. Tony Johnson, the safety man, trying to move out with him. Little crossing pattern. There's a halfback. Bertelson came to the inside, and Spire beats the crisscross defense and makes a miraculous catch, getting the ball right over the top of his head. And the kick now by Happy Feller. And Happy Feller just put his 16th consecutive point after attempt between the uprights. Watch it again. Street throwing deep, and Spire wide open. Little crossing pattern with Bertelson and Spire, and it confused the Oklahoma defenders. They didn't know whether to switch off, which they tried to do, or to stay with their men, man for man. Well, if you're watching in color, splashes of red for Oklahoma, lots of orange for Texas here in a, the Cotton Bowl. Build the capacity. 72,000 watching as Texas, in four plays, went 58 yards after being down 14 to nothing. It is now 14-7. And the Longhorns will kick into the wind to Oklahoma. Everett Marshall, a sophomore, awaits the kick by Happy Feller. Bell and Marshall bobble it. Like Bell and Marshall back there, but they recover their miscue. They really hung the ball high in the air. They couldn't quite decide uh, which one ought to make the call, and it's so noisy in this stadium that you certainly can't hear anything. You have to do it by hand signal. And a pair of sophomores just learned a valuable lesson here in the Cotton Bowl. Now from the 18, the Sooners, who lead 14 to, to 7. And a 43 left in the first quarter. And Roy Bell, number 35, carried on the play. Managed to get across the 20 to the 23-yard line. A good five-yard effort. Glenn Halsell, linebacker, making the stop. Second and five, Oklahoma. Boy, he almost had it all the way. Senior Steve Owens from Miami, Oklahoma, gets a block from Joe Killingsworth as a marker is down on the field. Offside against Texas, needless to say, Decline. A little counteraction in the backfield by Oklahoma seems to be pulling the Texas linebackers to step in the wrong direction and opening up the inside play for Owen. Gail Sayers, big eight rushing record has just been broken by Steve Owens, the senior from Oklahoma, as he carries again on a first down from the 32, getting four more yards out to the 36. Scott Henderson and Leo Brooks. All-America candidate, number 71 in the burnt orange jerseys. We look at the Oklahoma huddle. And with the ball at the 36, second and six. There you see the career rushing marks. Owens blocking, Bell carrying the ball. Roy Bell. Notice that time Oklahoma's tight end split out about four yards. Uh, flexing, we call it. The Texas linebacker moved to the inside against that set, which set up the wide play, the ability to turn the corner. That flexed end is a very difficult adjustment for the 4-4 set. Oklahoma with the number four ranked rushing offense in the country, 684 yards in two games. 12th in total offense. 
There's Steve Owens again, number 36. And he is in Texas territory. A very good uh, shot that time of the assault offense of Oklahoma with Zabel blocking down, clearing to the outside as Harper kicked out to open up the hole. Let's call it the 49 of Texas now, where it's a second down and two for the Sooners, who lead 14 to 7. And it appears that time has run out in the very first quarter here in the Cotton Bowl on a warm, humid afternoon. At the end of the first quarter, the score, Oklahoma, 14, Texas, 7. So you're looking at the University of Texas band. Both the Oklahoma band and this one will be entertaining at halftime. A great show. We hope you're enjoying the game. We've already had three touchdowns in the first quarter as the second quarter gets underway. Oklahoma now goes from left to right. They have a second down and two. And Steve Owen. That is a remarkable run, Chris. He was stopped by the defense and ran right through three tackles to pick up the first down. 12 carries for Owens already. 57 yards and one touchdown from two yards out. The boy who broke Oklahoma's Billy Vessels rushing record. Vessels under Bud Wilkinson, a Heisman winner, probably watching in Miami, Florida today. to Roy Bell. Dangerous play, you're handing off right in the face of the defensive end, but with the swing men coming around behind, the end has got to play a little bit soft. Good for four yards, second down and six. He just joined us, Oklahoma, after a short punt, went from the Texas 41 and eight plays to score. Texas forced the punt again, got the ball once more, then Acock intercepted. Oklahoma went 17 yards in five plays to take the lead. Texas came back 58 yards in four plays, Street to Spire, a 24-yard scoring play, so it's 14-7. And Owens gets, uh, let's see, one more yard to the 39, bringing up a third down and five. And Oklahoma's had this situation quite often. See the statistics of the first quarter, 7-3 to three in first downs. Oklahoma way ahead in rushing yardage. Texas way ahead in passing yardage. Children. Beautiful catch. By number 42, Rick Baldridge. Baldridge from Lawton, Oklahoma, a senior. And to the 35. In a game where both teams move the ball very well, possession is going to be a key factor. In the first quarter, Oklahoma kept the ball 8 minutes and 50 seconds. Texas having a 6-10. And now Oklahoma has a fourth down, less than a yard, at the 35 of Texas. Killingsworth left. Driving for the first down, Steve Owens. You know who's coming in with it, Chris? <laughs> You're right there to stop him, and he still makes it. A powerful runner. Steve Owens, 6'2", 213 pounds, as you see the first quarter statistics. And the one big statistic, of course, is the interception against Texas, which set Oklahoma up in business on the Texas 16-yard line and set up the touchdown, the second touchdown. The wishbone team, or rather the diamond team. And Roy Bell gets a couple of yards where he's met by David Arledge, A-R-L-E-D-G-E. -E. Call the ball at the 31 for a second down and eight. Oklahoma 14, Texas 7, 12, 26 remaining in the first half. Bell has carried 11 times for 41 yards. The Sooners at the Texas 31. Bell again. Scott Henderson, 61, in there in a hurry. They had that one defense perfectly. Guessing the wide field was coming. They were overshifted that way after they had slanted to the wide field out of their 4-4 set. With the four-yard loss, brings up a third down and 12 for the Sooners. Uh, it doesn't seem to bother them thus far, but I think this is the first uh, third and real long yardage that they've had. The other times it's been third and six or seven. Right. Steve Zabel double covered on the play by the Texas defense. Lester and Steinmark there. So it's a fourth down and 12 with the ball at the Texas 35. And with the wind in Oklahoma's face, it's probably just a little bit too far back for the field goal. I believe they will go with the punt. It'll be either Johnson or Zabel. 
Bonnie Johnson, who was enrolled at Texas, switched back to Oklahoma. A fine punter. Puts it in the air, and look where it came down. <laughs> Joe Killingsworth tried to uh, down it. So, in this centennial year of college football, we have a timeout. And the score is Oklahoma 14, Texas 7. Smiling faces in the Cotton Bowl. Happy co-eds and young men attending Texas and Oklahoma. And now it is fourth down less than a yard inside the Oklahoma 5 for the Longhorns. Jim Street conferred with his head coach, Darrell Royal, and they go for it. Splitting, Spire to the near side. Wishbone tee. And they have the first down. Jim Bertelson, the sophomore from Wisconsin. A very good use of the snap count that time. Texas had been going on a long count. They got Oklahoma to jump offside twice. That time they came to the line of scrimmage and snapped it on the first verbal. Oklahoma wasn't quite ready for the charge. Good block by the offensive center of Texas. Number 52, Forrest Wiegand. And as you see, the ball is at the one and a half. First and goal. Texas now trying to cap an 80-yard drive. Bertelson touchdown. Jim Bertelson has scored his fourth touchdown of the year. Number 35 as Bob McKay throws the block. And there are two happy folks. Even happier is this youngster from Hudson, Wisconsin. He really dove for that goal line. He, had he not gone low and under, he wouldn't have got it. Oklahoma was making a good pursuit pattern. And now, Happy Feller trying for 17 in a row to tie up the ball game. Up and good. Well, we have a tie ball game with eight minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the first half. Texas was down 14 to nothing. They came back and scored the last two touchdowns. This time, uh, a total of 11 plays going 80 yards. And the pregame patterns of both teams holding quite true. Oklahoma with their offense trying to maintain the ball with the hard driving running of Steve Owens, Bell, Texas. Also would like to run, but Oklahoma is so tight defensively, so close to the line of scrimmage that they have to get the long pass in order to set it up. And both of their touchdowns have been set up by the fine throw and catch. Now we're looking at Marshall. Steve Owens is also deep for Oklahoma. The score is tied 14 all and with the win to his back. Feller really put the foot into that one. And it'll be a touchback for Oklahoma. And the ball comes out to their own 20-yard line, where it'll be first and 10. Both teams now have run 28 plays. Both teams have scored twice. Oklahoma now, 82 Zabel, split to the near side. And Steve Owens carrying on the play. Scott Henderson there. Helping to tackle. And I believe that that's the first time that Texas has stopped Oklahoma almost at the line of scrimmage on first down. Texas has been yielding around four yards on the first down plays, except for one incomplete pass that Oklahoma has. They gained about a yard and a half. Let's call it second and eight now. Mildred getting the bell. Did you see that sophomore break the first tackle? Zappalak finally puts a sure shoe-top tackle on number 35, Roy Bell. And it's a first down for the Sooners as they come bouncing back. With the ball at the 43, a 21-yard play. It's first down, Oklahoma. Owen. The shifty bull of a runner, Steve Owen. Let's watch the blocking on this play in slow motion. You can see the two setbacks. Bell swinging wide as Harper goes up to make the block. Owens has the ball, and look at that block by Harper. The safety man comes up, Zaplak back. And Owens breaks to the bottom of your screen, and then downfield driving for every inch that he can get. 
17-yard run by Steve Owens. First down at the Texas 40. Roy Bell, the ball carrier, number 35 in white, limping just a bit to the far sideline. Zappalak on the tackle. And that's the first time that the end has come in to challenge the first handoff man. They've been handing the ball off right in front of him. That time Zappalak stepped in and hit the handoff man. If he continues to do it, uh, it does set up the option play. Jeffrey Nordgren, number 19, has replaced Bell. Second down and eight. Owens carrying. Atessis, number 77, in on the play. Very little gain, about a half yard. Owens now, 17 carries, 81 yards. 12 straight games that he has gained 100 yards or more for the Sooners. Third down, and let's call it seven. And now, the Texas defense covers the receivers. They get Milgren, Glenn Halso, number 67, and the defensive left end of Texas are in in a hurry, and the loss is back to the 46. That's a loss of nine. Fourth down and 16. The score tied, 14 all. 541 remaining in the first half. Fire is deep. Monty Johnson will kick. Left-footed kicker rushed hard. Spire calls for a fair catch at his own 18-yard line. Cotton Spire, Mr. Uh, Everything, it seems, number 88, Let's watches watch the, the ball after a 28-yard punt. Let's watch the kick again. High pass. Monty Johnson brings it down. He's a left-footed kicker. Watch how close this kick is to being blocked. Here comes Texas. It looks as though they're in position, but the lane was open, and he did drive the ball through the lane, kept it from being blocked. Bertelson, a flanker to the near side, outside Spire, number 88. Worcester on the delay. Loss on the play. Steve Aycock and Steve Castile. And Oklahoma expecting the pass, had the rush on against the draw play. So it's second down and about 12. Score tied, 14 all. We're at the Cotton Bowl. But in uh, seven days, we've had two terrific football games, Alabama and Mississippi last Saturday night, and now Texas, Oklahoma. Jimmy Street of the Longhorn. Spire apparently was uh, the man that Street wanted to hit. He rushed, uh, broke down the timing of the play, and also destroyed his vision. He simply was getting rid of the ball. Third and 12. You know, the NCAA notes with pride its members' strong contributions to the nation's physical fitness. More than 155,000 students at NCAA schools participate in 24 different organized sports, including 37,000 in college football. Third down and 12 now. Ted Coy flanks to the far side. Fire going out. Fire has the ball. And is down at about the 34. Castile and Pierce covering for the Oklahoma defense. And let's watch it again in slow motion. Spire, outside break, deep break. And as Pierce dropped back, the second cut to the outside, and you can see that he is wide open. His street hits him perfectly. Watch this little move. It's a good thing that help was on the way. Number 84 coming over to make the tackle. Files the monster man. Spire now, five catches, 97 yards, and a touchdown. Street throwing again. The Spire. And the sophomore defender, Glenn King of Jacksboro, Texas. Pulls him down. What we call a little hitch pattern. Spire taking two steps down the field and then two steps back and being hit right on the line of scrimmage with the ball. Hopefully he'll get turned upfield and be able to make the move downfield before the defensive halfback gets there. Spire now with a torn jersey at the bottom of your screen on the second and two from the own 41. Billy Dale from Odessa, number 22. Tried for the first down. Let's see where it is. 
Officials looking. He's calling for a timeout now. The referee. But Duff Simpson. Jim Files and John Watson. Tackled for Oklahoma. Here's the measurement for a Texas first down. Jimmy Street, number 16, the quarterback. First down, Longhorn. The official timeout gave Spire an opportunity to come over to the sidelines to get a jersey change, which they're working on. Hopefully, we'll get him back without having to take a called timeout. Now the bands are beginning to move from the stands. What a halftime show coming up. There is uh, Cotton Spire, who caught a touchdown pass today, getting a New Jersey. Ken Eric is filling in for him, number 45. Number 43. Texas with that incredibly sound running game, passing more today than usual, as Worcester, the fullback, moves out to the 46. A gain of three, second and seven. Texas total gain rushing thus far, Chris, is only 29 yards, which gives you some idea of how tough they're being played on the ground by Oklahoma, but they gained 160 passing. Score tied, 14 all. Worcester tumbling up near midfield that the officials say is knee touch at the 48 again of two which brings up a third down and five street now has thrown 11 times completing seven for 160 yards and Texas passed for only 119 yards in its first three games the moral of that is you go with what's working for you and why pass if you can run them and they found out earlier the running game wasn't going to be much against Oklahoma. Fire, the intended receiver, and that brings up a fourth and five for the Longhorns at their own 48 with the score tied. And it looked like a broken pattern. Spire thinking that he was supposed to get the sideline cut. Uh, Street thinking he was going to fake the sideline and roll and go deep. And talking with Daryl Royal now to be sure that that doesn't happen again. So it's a fourth down and five. Scooter Monsingo with the wind to his back, ready to kick. King goes deep, number 21, along with Stensrick. That's a good kick. And speaking of that win, normally we have the Goodyear blimp, the America here, to bring you those exciting overhead shots. But because of the strong winds, America, the Goodyear blimp is grounded. Time out here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, where the score is Oklahoma 14, Texas 14. Hey, Steve. Our end zone shot at the Cotton Bowl. Famous. Many, many gains, but none more famous than the annual rivalry between Texas and Oklahoma, these two great southwestern states. They're always wonderful to visit because the inhabitants have a great pioneer spirit. And so do their football team. Right now, after a punt, First and 10 from the 20 for Oklahoma with the score tied. Minute 59 to go. First half, Roy Bell getting about six yards. Uh, Oklahoma has four timeouts remaining unofficially, so even though the clock has only a minute and 46 seconds, they do have quite a bit of playing time remaining. Now it's second and four for the Sooners, who scored two touchdowns, leading Texas 14 to nothing. Texas came back. Steve Owen. Did he lose the ball? Whistle blown before the fumble. So it's going to be a third down, and let's see where the forward progress is marked. At about the 28, so it'll be third down and two as Leo Brooks makes the tackle. Something you rarely see, Owens fumbling the ball. They exchange the ball deep enough in the backfield that he has a chance to put it away usually before he hits. Shelley is to the near side. But Jack Mildren stays on the ground with Steve Owens. Number 36. Atessis on the tackle, and that uh, appears to be a first down for the Sooners. Thus far, Oklahoma with 13 first downs, Texas 10, and you see the ball is at the 31. Jack Mildred. Bell again with a spinning effort following uh, the contact. Number 86 is Mike Campbell. He wears 86. His bro twin brother, Tom, wears number 84 on the Texas defensive unit. And it appears that Oklahoma is simply going to maintain possession of the ball, not taking timeouts to try to score. The yardage is very interesting. Let's look, get us to your after this snap. Eldon, the bell on second and seven. 
being forced out of bound by number 67, Halsell, and 23, Danny Lester. And Texas has made 160 yards passing, 31 rushing. Oklahoma, 171 rushing and 12 yards passing, which is a good indication of the different tactics used by both teams. Now we have a third down and three with 19 seconds remaining on the Cotton Bowl clock. The score is tied, 14 to 14. Number two ranked Texas, number eight ranked Oklahoma. The Sooners have the ball at their own 38. And Steve Owens just helping to run out that clock, waiting for the first half to end. Leo Brooks moving in, joined by Greg Pletz, number 31. There you see the clock. Fourth down will never happen. There's a great halftime of entertainment coming up, and don't miss it. The score here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, is Oklahoma 14, Texas 14. Of the game. Now let's go back to our ABC telecast booth, Chris Schenkel and Bud Wilkinson. Thank you very much, Bill Fleming. We certainly enjoyed the halftime, giving us an opportunity to catch our breath after a most fascinating and fast first half, Bud Wilkinson. And the statistics are very interesting. Oklahoma leading in first downs, uh, way ahead in rushing, 173 yards to 31. Texas averaged just 1.6 yards per rush, which is, of course, way below their par. But if you look at the passing statistics, you begin to understand that 12 yards passing for Oklahoma against 160 for Texas. Texas averaged 22.9 yards per completion. Oklahoma won the possession war. They kept the ball 16 minutes and 55 seconds out of the first 30. Well, Bud, it appears um, now that let's see if Happy Feller has uh, put a tee uh, down on the 40-yard line with uh, Texas having uh, the opportunity. They elect to kick and take the wind. This is one of those things that you really puzzle over when you're coaching. The wind usually dies down in the southwest, and the later in the afternoon it gets, and you would like to take the wind and then hope it dies down, but if it's not going to die down, you'd rather have it in the fourth quarter, so it's just one of those things that you just don't know about. And now they have Steve Owens, Roy Bell, and Everett Marshall deep, Oklahoma. That's Owens to the near side. Happy Feller's kick is deep with the wind to his back. Marshall in the end zone. It's a touchback. So the Sooners have the ball first and 10 at their own 20 with a score tied 14 to 14. Next week on our exclusive NCAA telecast, we'll be uh, bringing you the University of California UCLA game. Oklahoma got good field position twice, and that led to both of their scores. They got it the first time on the Texas 41, and then intercepted the pass to get it on the Texas 16. They're starting now from their own 20. The deep back is number 36, Steve Owens. And the ball goes to Roy Bell, who now has carried the ball 18 times, picked up 73 yards in the first half. Owens picked up 85 yards. Also makes the tackle at the 26, where it'll be second down and four. And those are the men up front for Oklahoma. Second and four. Steve Owens. They have everybody leading him, uh, both Harper and Bell, going through the hole with double team blocking on the inside. And he simply tries to power to pick up that consistent short yardage. The backfield, 11, Mildred, 35, Bell, 40, Harper, 36, Steve Owens. And with the ball out to the 30, it is a third down and a little less than one yard. And Mildred slides off for the first down. That takes great athletic ability, Chris. He tried to hit it to the right. It was absolutely jammed up. He had the poise to step back and swing over until he found some daylight. Some great individual ball players out here, like the offensive center of Oklahoma, senior Ken Mendenhall, number 50 from Enid. So now with the ball at the, let's call it the 32, Oklahoma first down. Bell again, Roy Bell. 61 in on the play for Texas Scott Henderson along with Greg Pletz and Texas has altered their defense they're moving their linebackers up on the line so that they have six men on the line of scrimmage rather than only four that's Mendenhall the center out of the huddle first over the ball Jack Mildred sophomore quarterback from Abilene Texas with a second and seven of his own 35 and pass way off 
intended for Joe Killingsworth. And a fine catch by Coach Fairbanks. Chuck Fairbanks, who played end for Duffy Doherty at Michigan State, and in his fourth year at Oklahoma, third as head coach, took over with the untimely death of Jim McKenzie. So now it's a third down and seven. Killingsworth split to the far side. Zabel split to the near side. And it goes to Owens. Fourth down. Owens defense on the play. Let's watch it again in slow motion. Mildred dropping right straight back. Owens is the tailback. He swings to the top of the screen. Mildred sets. Looks downfield. No one is open. Owens is open in the flat as sort of a safety valve, but uh, there's very little chance for him to move as we get a very difficult, very tough, strong tackle by McKinney, the Texas linebacker. Nine marks, left-footed Monty Johnson's kick. Taken by Danny Lester, number 23, inside his own 40, a 29-yard punt into the wind and now the field lights have been turned off here on a gray cloudy afternoon in Dallas Texas so Texas gets the ball for the first time after kicking off to Oklahoma here in the second half and then the first half Oklahoma crowded Texas in the line of scrimmage and let Cotton Spire be quite open with only one man covering him from the 36 first down Jimmy Street nice run on the play by number 35, Jim Bertelson. Out to the 41, a gain of five. Second down and five for Texas. And Kevin Grady on the tackle. Last play was the counter off of the triple option, which was the largest average per try for Texas last year. Spire to the far side, second and five. Look at that pile up. John Watson is there, Castile joining Ernie Coy of Texas. And very few people left back in the secondary. Looked like a reenactment of the very first game, Princeton Rutgers, 100 years ago, but Oklahoma is trying to disguise their single coverage now with the three deep men playing the normal pattern and then moving right before they expect the ball to be snapped. Fire split to the near side on third down and three from the 43 yard line of Texas. And the fullback breaks loose, Worcester from Bridge City, Texas. And the Longhorns are in Oklahoma territory. Oklahoma has jumped into a 7-1, uh, expecting the running play, but they don't believe expected Booster to have the ball. Usually, on short yardage, Texas will fake the Booster and go out for the wider option. Now at the Oklahoma 47, Texas first down. Scores tied 14-all. 11 minutes, 6 seconds remaining in the third quarter. And Bertelson. Finds a little hole as markers go down on the field. Let's watch the signal. Our penalties have been all as a result of mechanical uh, miscues. And here's another offside against Oklahoma. So it's first down and five now for the Longhorns. That's only the third penalty of the game. Oklahoma's defense has been offside three times. At the 42 of Oklahoma, Texas first and five. That was Worcester again. A junior fullback running into Steve Castile along with Albert Qualls, number 81. And as you see, the ball is at approximately the 36, sufficient for the first down. Texas sustaining its drive following an Oklahoma punt on the first series of downs. 14-0 the score. The wishbone seed of Texas. Fire. A little hitch pattern to fire again, but it was low and he was on the ground when he caught it. Uh, he would have had time that time with the ball been high enough to turn and face the defender and try to juke him out of position. There was a good rush on the pastor, passer, Bruce. Deloney, a sophomore of Oklahoma City, put a good rush on street. And as you see, the ball is at the 37-yard uh, line. 
the correct score. Wisconsin 27. 13 for Iowa. And Street. Looking here. Face mask, perhaps. Personal foul. He didn't follow it up. But I'm sure it was a face mask, but one of those things that was so fast and right on the ball, and you could see the Oklahoma players objecting because they felt it was inadvertent and he probably didn't hold it very long. But if your hand is up there, the penalty has to be called. So it's a break for Texas at the 17 of Oklahoma first down. Good effort by Jim Bertelson, whose parents drove from Hudson, Wisconsin last week, 1,100 miles, to see him star in the Navy game and are here again today to watch uh, the first-year varsity man go against rival Oklahoma. Oklahoma continuing to move their two linebackers into the line to get into a 6-2 defense. And Spire. they overtipped it some. Excuse me, bud. Spire set away now. Street optioning to Bertelson. Bertelson to the 11. Kevin Grady in on the play along with Jim Files. So with the ball at the 11, it brings up a third down and four at the 11 of Oklahoma. Nine and a half remaining in the third quarter. Oklahoma scored the first two touchdowns. Texas came back with two to tie it up. You could hear that up here, Chris. Ginger, though. Worcester, the fullback, felt it more than anyone else. Number 30. Uh, Pierce, uh, the Oklahoma defensive halfback, has changed his play against Cotton Spire. He's sitting on his inside shoulder about two yards off the line of scrimmage. So as this game progresses, it'll be interesting to see if Spire can beat him. Happy Feller, number five, has kicked one of two field goals this year. And let's see if he can do it again. From the 17 plus the 10 of the end zone, a 27-yard kick on an angle, severe angle. Up and it's good. Time out here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas. The score, Texas 17, Oklahoma 14. On the last Oklahoma play, Number 60, Bill Elstrom, injured. Native of Galveston, Texas, a senior. And Mike Mullen will fill in for him. And of course, you see he's getting immediate medical attention here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas as Texas on a 27-yard field goal about a minute and a half ago. Took the lead for the first time today, 17 to 14. Now Oklahoma with the ball at its own 26. They have a third down and 19. Mildred, the ball took off on him. And Fred Steinmark of Denver, Colorado, one of three non-Texas on the 22 starting team. There he is. A pass intended for Shelley, and now each team has been intercepted once. And the Texas gets the ball at the Oklahoma 49. This will be a key test of the Oklahoma defense. If they can dig in and stop them now, they'll be very much back in the ballgame. Jimmy Street, number 16, quarterback from Longview. Worcester. One of the things that you overlook about this Texas team is the tremendous blocking of their two halfbacks, Ted Coy and Jim Bertelson. That was the fake that time, but Coy was blocking on Al Quails, the Oklahoma end and he knocked him right flat on his back. Just received word that Elstrom has a sprained right ankle. Smart. Second and seven. Great catch. Round of 37 of Oklahoma by Cotton Spire, number 88. And thus far, the single coverage of Oklahoma has not been able to contain Spire. First down for the Longhorns. Third quarter, California leads Washington. Washington State leads UCLA 23 to seven in the third quarter. Fire now with seven catches for Texas, 110 yards. 
and Ted Coy, tri captain of the Longhorns, gets to about the 34. Falls and Castile on the stop. Uh, two Texans that play for Oklahoma. Falls from Houston, Castile from Garland. So from the 34 now, it is second down and seven. And there is Qualls from Houston. Very unusual style of defensive play. Uh, most ends do come in and force, but as you can see from the time that play started at him, Qualls just gave ground to the outside. Uh, Texas not being able to make any sort of play on the defensive end. Lost the pattern of the timing of the blocks and opened up for the loss. Third down and 14 from the Oklahoma 41 for Texas. Bertelson is out and Billy Dale is in. And an interception, Vince La Rosa of Brooklyn, New York, handing back to Joe Pierce. And Pierce is at the Texas 24. They tried the little switch pattern again that had been so effective when it was single coverage, but La Rosa had dropped out to make a double coverage in the flat, and he was there for the interception. La Rosa intercepting, handing backwards to Pierce, and now Oklahoma has the ball at the 24-yard line of Texas. What a game. Second interception of a Jim Street forward pass. Shelley goes to the far side. Zabel is in tight. Mildred gets to Steve Owens. Isn't he a runner? What a spark of play happens to be every now and then. There's a Brooklyn boy who plays for Oklahoma that made the interception and then Pierce, number 41. Wow. And there's a long way to go. So now there is a placement. And a measurement here is Steve Owens, number 36, looks and sees that it's a first down for the Sooners. The word Sooners comes from the white settlers who slipped past the soldier guards at night into the new Oklahoma country and took choice sites for the farms before the date set for the various Oklahoma land runs of 1889. So the Sooners now at the 14, first down, Texas leading 17 to 14. And a shoot top tackle on Steve Owens by number 42, McKinney. And Mac McKinney. Oklahoma has changed the offensive pattern just a little bit. In the first half, they were handing off quickly to the front halfback. Steve Owens, on the last play, had moved up, so he was only four yards back, and they had the lead halfback blocking with the same straight-ahead pattern. And now for the 13th straight game, he has gained over 100 yards. 24 carries, 103. That time, not so successful. Mike Campbell and on the stop. Yeah, a very big third and four coming Ooh. up, Chris. Isn't it though? At the eight yard line of Texas. Third down. Shelley is the split end to the far side. Owens did not make it. Mike Campbell is number 86 in the uh, orange jersey, who tripped him up. Also 67, and as you see, it is a fourth down and two. And we're going field goal. Field goal time. Into the wind uh, on a acute angle because it'll be in so close. Coming from about the uh, 12 and a half plus the 10 yards of the end zone. 22 and a half. Bruce Durr, who is 0 for 1 this year, will try the attempt. And this will tie it up as he makes it. Up and good. <laughs> Throughout the fall, watch ABC for college football at its best. Now in its centennial year, with time out to score, Texas 17, Oklahoma 17. 25 is Monty Johnson, 20 is Durr, who just kicked a 22-yarder to tie up the game. And Bud, they uh, sometimes use a, a little strategy on this type of a kick. 
Johnson sometimes moves in and kicks it if the field is open to either side. But this time, Texas had it covered. Bertelson at the 15. 20. Has blockers. Stumbles forward. And then is pinned down by O'Shaughnessy. Number 18. There is Jim Bertelson, sophomore from Hudson, Wisconsin. Quite a quarter horse fan. Worked on uh, the Bobby French Anacatcha Ranch out in Brackettville, Texas, when he's not in uh, school. And every possession is the key when both teams move the ball as these do. 8 of 16, one touchdown for Jim Street. From the 32, from behind hit, the pass to Spire. Oh! Bruce Dendrick. A senior from Dallas, a touchdown saving jersey body tackle. And it was great faking in the backfield, uh, the fake of the counter play. While that backfield fake is going on, Spire took that outside break and then turned on the speed. The safety man was up again, so there was no help as he came down the middle of the field. Perfect throw by Street. It appeared that Spire might have it all the way. Stensrud, however, came over and did make the tackle. And Spire limps off the field now. Texas has a first and ten at the 19 of Oklahoma. Ted Coy battling inside the ten yard line. Bobby Mitchell and Forrest Wigan blocking forward for the Longhorns who now are to the nine yard line. Not quite enough for the first down. It'll be second and less than one. And the Texas line is beginning to dominate the line of scrimmage against the Oklahoma defense. Eric has replaced Fire, split in. And there goes Coy. Ted Coy, Texas, touchdown. 68 yards. Three play. And the Longhorns. And we have a penalty against Texas. That will change the crowd noise slightly. Illegal procedure, position on the call. Let's take a look at the play again. It's the inside belly play going to the left of your screen. There's the first fake to Wooster. Beautiful fake. And there goes Coy. A great block by Bertelson. Wooster down there to help block as Coy takes it into the end zone but the penalty brings the ball back and now we have a second down and five. So the ball will uh, be snapped at about the 14 as Texas has called a time. Gives us an opportunity to remind you that you have a chance to see five more college football games being played this afternoon. That's right. Film excerpts from each are featured on the weekly NCAA highlight show on ABC television. So check your local listing for the exact time tomorrow. At the Texas receiving the kickoff, you can see the double fake there. And the long ball from street to spire and he goes open down the middle and almost had it all the way spire with the single coverage has been wide open most of the time he did hurt his ankle on the play that you just saw and he's getting needed attention there on the bench well the team on the short end of our exciting game last saturday night mississippi has upset georgia 25 to 17 spire with eight catches 158 yards now it's second down and six after the five yard penalty at the 14. And uh, Jim Street decides to uh, let Coy try it again. Oklahoma changing the defensive alignment, moving three linemen, three of their linebackers into the line to make it a 7-1. We have a big third and two coming up. We have a Western Union correction on the UCLA score. UCLA is in the lead, 23-7. So now it is third down and four. Eric to the far side. Jim Bertelson getting off the mark like a good quarter horse. Beautiful action on the counter play. That's the same backfield fake that set up the long pass to Spire. This is a drive that started at the Texas 32. 16 first downs for Texas, 16 for Oklahoma, number 16. Jim Street from Longview, Texas, a senior. First and goal from the seven. Worcester. You can see the face guard there yourself that time. The hand got across in front of Worcester and 
The referee coming up from behind saw it also, and they gained two and a half more yards on the play. Personal foul, half the distance to the goal line, of course, as a face mask violation, the second against Oklahoma. So the ball is at the two and a half. Still first down. Spire is back in, bud. He ran on the field as though there was nothing wrong with the ankle. <laughs> Fire at the right of your screen at the top. Intended for Spire, Bruce Stensred has come up with another six point saving play. The last was against Spire, and let's, now again. Let's watch this one in slow motion. It's how close things can be in a football game. There's a little brush and Spire breaking to the outside. Stensred moving right with him. Spires got him beat to the outside. The ball is underthrown slightly, and had he been able to pull it in there, it was clear sailing for 100 yards. Now it's third down. Goal to go. Ken Ayrick to the far side. And Bertelson thrown for a loss. We had some defensive charge that time. Number 43 for Oklahoma is Acock. And 76 is John Watson, and now it is fourth down for the Longhorns, and will they bring in Happy Feller, the field goal kicker? The last three years, this game has been decided by field goals. There have been nine field goals kicked in the last three years. We've already had two in this game thus far. From the 11 plus the 10 of the end zone, 21 yards on that acute angle again. Feller up, and Texas takes the lead. Well, we've had three goals here, three field goals kicked here in the third quarter. After a 14 to 14 halftime tie, you see the story now, Texas in the lead by three. And we've had only one punt in the third quarter. Three field goals, one punt. 24 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Members of the Texas Longhorn Band. Coach Chuck Fairbanks sends his three uh, good men deep, Bell, Marshall, and Steve Owens. And the last three that Feller has kicked have been deep, deep in the end zone with that following win. Two field goals by Happy Feller, one by Bruce Durr of Oklahoma. And the kick is long again, and Everett Marshall feels it for the touchback. So, Oklahoma comes out to the 20 yard line first and 10 they trail by 3 20 to 17 bud the Oklahoma offense continues to move well on the ground but their passing has not been very effective I believe as I mentioned a little while ago that to move the ball they will have to throw more on first and second down than they have done thus far Jack Mildren there's Steve Owen 36 106 yards Mildren number 11 the quarterback and they stick uh, with their rushing game on first down. There is Chuck Fairbanks. First year at Oklahoma, 9-1 and one record. Orange Bowl win over Tennessee. Last year, 7-3. and three. Has lost to Texas the last two years, 9-7, to seven, and last year, 26-20. And time has expired here in the third quarter. And at the end of the period, here at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas, the score, Texas 20, Oklahoma 17. This is, this is the Cotton Bowl. 72,000 standing room only crowd for the 24th consecutive year. Watching Oklahoma meet Texas. The Longhorns, number two ranked. The Sooners, number eight. The moment Texas is leading 20 to 17 with 13 minutes and 22 seconds left in the game. Oklahoma with a second down and one at the Texas 36. And here are the Sooners. Shelley to the near side. Mildred, the quarterback, going for the first down and has it. 71 is Leo Brooks. 61 is Scott Henderson. 67, Halsell. There's Shelley, 80. Mildred, 11. Now with the ball at the 34, first and 10 for Oklahoma. Sable, got a 
away from the line. Oklahoma stays on the ground. The outside handoff again to Bell. He's able doing a great job of blocking the outside linebacker Richardson, who's moved up on the line of scrimmage. Will Paulzo on first down. Texas has an overshifted six with the two linebackers on the short side away from the tight end label. They let the ball at the 30. Oklahoma second down and six. Texas leading 20 to 17. Steve Owens again trying to uh, leap over. He now has 30 carries, 122 yards. Henderson helping on the tackle for the Longhorn defense at the 27. A gain of three. It'll be third down and three as we look at Little Red, the Oklahoma Indian. Kelly split to the near side. Number eight. Markers down on the field is Steve Owens. Got the necessary yardage, but let's see about the penalty. Was it Oklahoma offside? Yes. And believe me, that's a very, very vital error. Instead of being first and ten, they've now got third and a long eight. At approximately the, the 33 of Texas, we have that much time. 11.58 remaining in the ball game. 14-14 at halftime. It is now 20 to 17. Texas leading. Oklahoma led in the first quarter, 14 to nothing. Table to the far side. Shelley opposite. In motion. On. And the ball goes to Bell. It gets to about the 28, bringing up a fourth down and three is Greg Fletz. A junior from Sherman, Texas. Sherman being also the hometown of Miller Barber, the professional golfer. And we're going to get a field goal try here to see if we can once again get a tie game. Well, Bruce Durr kicked one from 22 and a half with about three minutes remaining in the third quarter to tie it up. Now he has an opportunity to do it again, but this one with the wind to his back, a 46-yard attempt. It's Long enough. The real pain, agony of being unsuccessful on a three-pointer. 46-yard attempt to the near side of the upright. And when we talk about mistakes, Chris, we usually think of fumbles, interceptions, that type of thing, but. A penalty is an error, and that offside penalty was a very tough one. Some of the big games next Saturday, Penn State at Syracuse, Tennessee at Alabama, Iowa at Purdue, Oklahoma State at Missouri, and California UCLA. Here is the game of your choice. Bertelson moving the ball from the 20 for Texas. Kevin Grady uh, joined by Steve Castile on the tackle getting about three yards we would estimate and the pressure begins to mount if the Texas offense can maintain possession grind it out here the clock's running be hard for Oklahoma to get it geared again the Sponsies fire at his foot in and Kevin Grady number 75 was not fooled joined on the play by the monster man Jim Files number 84 there you get a look at the side. Look at number 76, John Watson, 6'5. Listed uh, the program as 219. I'd like to have $10 for every pound over 219 that he weighs. And you can see the wind blowing the Oklahoma jerseys. If they can force Texas to punt on fourth down, Texas, Oklahoma will have reasonably good field position. Double flankers fire to the bottom of the screen. Okay, third down and seven. Into the wind. He lofts it out there, and it's intercepted by Joe Pierce. He's been a defensive star today. And now, Haycock helps Bertelson up. The pass was intended for Bertelson. And uh, the Zoomers now are booming a little more. The third interception by the Oklahoma defense. Oklahoma has the ball at its own 44-yard line. First down and 10, Texas leading 20 to 17. Rick Baldridge is the fullback, number 42. 
Owens 36, Bell 35, and they power eye. Marker down. Owens throwing a block, and Mildred gets the across midfield. No one uh, jumped offside, but the left side of the Oklahoma line lined up offside. Uh, the guard and the tackle were ahead of the ball. I believe that that's the same thing that happened uh, previously when they got the offside penalty to nullify the first down. A procedure penalty, which is five yards, bringing the ball back to the 39, where it'll be first down and 15 for the Sooners. 9.55 to go. The sixth penalty against Oklahoma and none thus far against Texas. Mendel Hall, number 50, coming out over the ball. Mildren, the sophomore. The sophomore, Roy Bell. Mike Campbell. And on the stop, let's see, at about the 42, gain of three. So it'll be second down and 12 here in Texas. I believe that Mildred felt that Texas would be rushing the passer and the quick handoff might break past them. Steve Zabel goes incomplete. Mac McKinney, 42, and Lester, 23, covered uh, in the secondary with that much time, 919 to go in the ball game. Brings up a third down and 12 for the Sooners. And they trail by three points. This is the time where you big deep for the one long yardage play that you've been practicing all week. Bill Atessis, number 80, is Bill Zapalak, whose father is one of the Texas coaches. Gets in, and the Sooners are thrown for a loss. Back to the 34. Loss of eight. It's fourth down and 20. 8.54 to go. Hunting now, Oklahoma. Anticipating is Cotton Spire, number 88. Monty Johnson. Left-footed to punt. Oh, beauty. Oh, beauty. Spire at the 16. Fire back to the 20. You know, Chris, he catches the ball so well on his passes that he has a little trouble seemingly on the punts. Johnson with a 46-yard punt, bud. That's the Hollis, Oklahoma native who quarterback for Bud Wilkinson, the Sooners, Daryl Royal, the Texas coach, who last week won his 100th game as head coach at Texas. That eight minutes looks long to him and very short to Coach Fairbanks. From the 20, Jim Street. And battling Steve Worcester, number 30. Vince La Rosa and Bruce Stensred on the tackle. Oh, that was a battling first down by Worcester. Coming out to about the 31, first down. Texas leading 20 to 17, 818 to go in the game. Ken Eric is put to the far side. La Rosa finally made the tackles. Castile first hit street. And Oklahoma continuing to vary the defensive alignment from the 4-4 to the 6-2, and that time the overshift to the bottom of your screen. So up to 32, it'll be second down and nine for Texas. 7.45 to go. Robertson. Stensred is 17. 81 is Qualls. 84 is Files. And uh, they allow four yards, or make it two yards, rather, to the 34. So it'll be third down and seven for Texas. Okay, showing seven minutes now and 16 seconds. This is a big third down play from Oklahoma's standpoint. They need the ball. Spire, 88, is in the lineup now. Split to the near side of the field at the bottom of your screen. 
on third and seven from their own 34. Well, that was that flanker around play. They had, it, they had it defensed awfully well, but putting fire in that open field, he finds daylight very quickly. And that brings up a fourth down for the Longhorns. Oklahoma will get their hands on the ball. Fourth down with the ball at the 39. Fourth down and two. Scooter Manzingo will do the punting. Back deep now is King, number 21. King has it. Oh, a loose ball. Bob McKay flying there. Number 62 recovers for Texas at the Oklahoma 23. A little bit of inexperience. The front back dropping back, signaling a fair catch, and then getting his eyes off the ball. Let's watch it again in slow motion. Two outfielders. He was blinded just a little bit. King not able to hold the ball. Stemsworth trying to get up to it, but nothing but orange jerseys there as Texas recovers. King ahead of him. Stemsworth uh, early signaling for a fair catch. King uh, handling the ball, and King has really had a workout today, bud. They've been throwing in his area on defense, and now a tough break for King on this pass play. Oklahoma, of course, needs to dig in here and force Texas at least to attempt the field goal. That would still have victory within Oklahoma's reach. Right. And there you see Daryl Royal. You think he's nervous. I think Edith Royal, his wife, is just as nervous. She's at home in Austin watching. And here is Chuck Fairbanks. And he's wondering how in the world can he misplay a punt that badly. Oklahoma 23. It's first down. For Texas, they lead 20 to 17. 6:25 left in the game. And Bertelson, a sure tackle by the monster man, Jim Files, a senior from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Texas changing the pace from the triple option to the belly play, which is a hard driving, straight ahead type offense. But uh, looking ahead, speaking of Arkansas. We'll uh, be televising the Texas-Arkansas game from Fayetteville, December 6th, coast to coast. Spire back in the game, going to the top of the screen. Watch how Pierce is playing him on defense now. Right on the line of scrimmage on his inside shoulder. Second and seven. Mm. Bertelson, number 75, a fine play. Kevin Grady, joined by Castile. And the ball is at the 18, so it'll be third down and five. Total yards thus far, Texas 331, Oklahoma 276. And the field goal has made the difference. Now with a third and five. Weekend centering the ball to Jim Street of Longview. Worcester driving hard. Let's watch it again in slow motion. I believe that's the last play Oklahoma expected. They were looking for the outside triple option. There's the handoff, and you can see the fake. Marvelous blocking by the Texas line as the Oklahoma men are moving to the outside, expecting Street to have kept the ball. Wooster driving, driving to the seven-yard line. 17 carries for Wooster, 62 yards. Marker is down as Bertelson rolls into the end zone was not officially in but let's let's watch for the penalty Bertelson number 35 Coy 24 offside very little doubt about what to do here Chris <laughs> offside against the defense defining of course the penalty it brings up a second and goal and the ball is at the Oklahoma one Texas leading 20 to 17, 444 to go. Eric 45 to the left.
Worcester getting in for the TD. A marker is down. Texas has gone 23 yards in five plays. Worcester scoring the touchdown, putting the Longhorns ahead 26 to 17 as they recovered a king fumble to start this series at the Oklahoma 23. Is Happy Feller now? We'll try the point after. Penalty against Oklahoma. Davis to say decline. That's Donnie Wigginton holding the ball. Good. It all started in 1869. Now each week it's college football on ABC. The score, Texas 27, Oklahoma 17. Oklahoma with a first down, 23 seconds left in the game. Texas leading 27 to 17. And but after 17 years on the sideline here, coaching the Sooners and having such a fine record against Texas, it's a little different up here in the broadcast booth, is it not? Well, I don't think there's any game that has any more intensity than this one. The players on both sides are looking forward to it always. They know what the game means to their season. They know what it means to the tradition of the school. You know, Harry Duvall, the uh, football writer for the Football News, said this. To me, college football is like my French wife. Eternally young, effervescent, never aging, but evolving into something different. Always challenging, but ever beautiful in my mind. Yeah. And Jack Mildren, the Oklahoma quarterback, bringing it out for about four yards to the 21. And Leo Brooks makes the tackle. 16 seconds left on the clock. And I believe unofficially that's Oklahoma's last timeout. What a rivalry, bud. This is our first opportunity, though we've uh, sat in the stands here and watched this game before, but the first time we've televised one in these years. And now I know what they mean when they say uh, Oklahoma against Texas in the Cotton Bowl. It's a tremendous game. Well, you have to give uh, Texas great credit for keeping their poise. They're a veteran team when you jump off 14 to nothing behind as quickly as they did it's quite easy to lose your game plan and to panic a little bit but Texas stayed right with it Oklahoma however has improved a little bit defensively and except for a couple of bad mistakes chiefly the fumbled punt this game would have gone right down to the wire all right 16 seconds Oklahoma with a second down and six Mildred being chased by David Arley the sophomore from Richardson Texas they're counting off the seconds here of the giant cotton bowl clock. And there it is. A 27 to 17 victory for the favored Longhorns of the University of Texas. And Darrell Royal now has won his 11th victory since being head coach at Texas over Oklahoma with two losses. We'll repeat the final score. Texas 27, Oklahoma 17. And now the eyes of Texas. Let's listen. the 17 victory for the University of Texas Longhorns here at the Cotton Bowl in the 63rd renewal of this neighboring state battle that will go on for years. We hope you enjoyed the action here on a cloudy, warm afternoon in Dallas. Once again, the final score, Texas 27, Oklahoma 17. The executive producer of NCAA football is Rune Arley. The Oklahoma-Texas game was produced by Chuck Howard and directed by Andy Sedaris. Associate producer Jim Feeney, technical director John Allen. And now this is Chris Shankle along with Bud Wilkinson, 
and Bill Fleming saying so long from the Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas.